Black Sunday Shop Talk, everybody. Uh, I didn't get to my sock. I was going to do a couple of uh, socks in my collection, but because of the weather, the rain and everything, I wasn't going to bring it out here in this environment, uh, the rain. I wasn't going, to, I wasn't going to expose them. I don't use them. They're, they're collectibles. And uh, so then I thought I'd do it in the knife room. But then I got uh, into my Grunt 3 knife. Then it started pouring down raining. I was going to try and sneak over to see uh, uh, sharpening by DeWitt. He texted me this morning to bring him a couple of knives to sharpen, which I appreciate. Uh, and I didn't get a chance at that time. I wasn't sure what was going on. So I wasn't going to be able to make it, but he says he's, he's always there. I, I can always text him. I, I would like him to put a little, uh, do his number magic. I'll just leave it with him. Uh, on that BPS HK2 because I've thrown the hell out of it. That's that one I showed yesterday with the Python custom scales. Yeah, that would be a really cool one for him to show before and after because I can tell you right now before, it's, it's, it's dull. I've just, I've thrown the hell out of it. So instead of uh, me sharpening them, spending the time doing that, he said uh, he'd sharpen them and uh, I'll do a little video if I'm there. And if not, he could do a video for content. Uh, but, uh, yeah, such a great guy. In fact, I'm going to put his uh, channel in the descriptions of this again. He's in the Blade community, guys. Uh, he's starting up his YouTube. He actually was doing a festival this weekend. He was set up his mobile unit. Uh, big festival. Uh, bluegrass festival. It's huge. Annual thing. And he was set up there uh, with his knife sharpening mobile. So I'll put him in the, the uh, descriptions of this this video but here it is guys uh that's that my car to scales i added this lanyard with the skull just then right before i turned this camera on i was just playing around because it was raining uh, i might take i'll probably take that off but yeah i just did a quick skull on there you know what i mean but yeah there's the jipping it's a drop point i got the blank and i picked out the uh slabs and I picked, I wanted a blank with finger grooves on this one. The other two grunt knives I did were straight and they're throwing knives. Uh, this I want to be more of a grab, you know what I mean? Grab and go to. It's got a nice grip on it now. I really spent time on, on uh, really making that handle comfortable. This was six hours today, on and off. Yep, six hours. Uh, I had to do some... Uh, adjustments on the slab to make my hardware fit through uh yeah this was a challenge and i like it now my other challenge is I, i'm thinking about instead of doing the taco style which i might do it maybe that sheath i made uh will fit this i was thinking about doing another style sheath and work on that tomorrow i probably will but you know what i'm gonna go inside I'm going to take this aside. I usually leave these out in my shop until I'm finished because I'll be tweaking it out if necessary. I don't think I have to tweak this out. I just need to build the chief. I tweaked it out while it was raining. Silence. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try that, that sheath that I made that was too small for my other one. And I haven't found a knife that'll fit it yet. This might be it. Yep, this might be it. We'll see. If not, I got an idea of what kind I want to make. I was going to try and make one that was really close and tight to my waist and make this just pull out and go. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, I'm going to do a uh, up close and personal. I will do that of my SOG Vulcan because I had such a, a big response, huge response on the Renegade, the Cobra Tech Renegade. Tonto fixed blade knife and the SOG Vulcan Tonto fixed blade knife is one of my favorite Tonto knives. So I'll do it up close and personal that, let you see that shine and see what a great knife that is. And then I'm going to load up some videos of uh, dispatch knives that I did a box opening last week. Okay. So I hope y'all had a great uh, day today. Yeah, I hope you have a long weekend. This is Veterans Day tomorrow. And uh, it's uh, honoring everybody that has served and serving. Okay, happy Veterans Day. 
And y'all stay safe tonight. Have a good evening. And sog out. Go check that sheath.